Kepada yang beria sangat mas tukar tenda catering itu, I'm really sorry to say this but it is a total letdown. The new catering is absolute downgrade. Why? Okay, biar saya kasih tunjuk sama kamu. Okay, this was my in-flight meals pada 28 hari bulan hari itu from Labuan to KL. Malam punya flight, so this was supposed to be a dinner. Macam biasa, orang ada dua pilihan makanan dan saya ambil pasta ni. And yeah, as you can see, ada sepotong cake dan juga salted peanuts, ada air mineral and also hot and cold drinks offered as well. Macam biasa, saya akan minta jus oren lah. <laughs> And then this was my in-flight meals pada 29 hari bulan hari itu from KL to Ho Chi Minh. So yeah, it was an international flight. So yes, they also have two options, um, nasi lemak ka? Uh, dan this omelette. So saya ambil this omelette lah. As you can see, the omelette, very good set. And then it comes with a piece of cake as well dan juga salted peanuts dan air mineral dan juga as usual hot and cold drinks so yeah orange juice as usual for me and then apparently starting from 1st september the new um catering took over this was my in-flight meals pada dua hari bulan hari itu from ho chi minh to kl they actually do have two options uh which are yang ini nasi dengan ikan um, yang satu lagi saya tidak ingat uh, But yeah uh, Apparently the peanuts and the cake were missing And was replaced with uh, sebungkus biskut Yeah And then yes ada sebotol air mineral Dan apparently unfortunately There were no hot and cold drinks offered I was like wait where's the juice I need my orange juice Tapi tiada <laughs> And another letdown was this flight. Apparently, the entertainment system was not working. Uh, macam saya try pasang movie. Nope, it's not working. I asked the steward and he was like, oh, he, we need to reset it. I was like, oh, really? And then, no, they do not provide uh, the headphones anymore. Macam yang saya pergi hari tu, saya dapat flight yang dia bagi yang wifi. So, I could just like play the movie on my phone and then use my own earbuds but with this installed entertainment system obviously they do not have bluetooth to connect my earbuds so yeah and the movie were not playing as well so yeah i was literally bored to death on that flight and just when i thought it couldn't get worse unfortunately it did so this was my in-flight meals pada tiga hari bulan September um, from KL to Labuan. Yes, as you can see, the mailbox ada sebiji apple, ada buns, ada sepotong cake, ada biskut yang tawar tidak rasa, and then salted peanuts and sebotol air mineral. And yes, there were no hot and cold drinks um, offered as well. And yeah, the biggest letdown is this was the only choice. Ya, yeah, memang tiada option lain. Biasanya akan ada dua option kan? But no, this time no. This was the only option. Uh, the steward just uh, distribute this meal box to everyone. I honestly don't think I was the only one disappointed with the meal. Sebab yang passenger yang sebelah saya tu lagi lah. Dia cuma ambil kacang, air dan dia gigit apple sikit. And then yang lain semua dia buang. I was like... Yeah, it was that bad. But since I am a DBK cake type, I just eat everything, walaupun tidak sedap. Yeah. And one more thing, they did not provide tissue in this meal bowl. So I was like, what? Like seriously, where do you expect us to wipe our hands after eating this stuff? Nasib baik lah saya dah bawa tisu sendiri dalam bag. So, but still, it's a very big letdown. For this flight, I could play the movie. Cuma, they do not provide the headphones anymore. So, I just watch a muted movie. So, I literally fell asleep instead. Yeah. It's a two plus hours flight after all. So, what do you expect with no entertainment system? I mean... If I know, I would come prepared and download something on my phone and just watch them on my phone. But yeah, unfortunately, this flight doesn't come with that Wi-Fi that provides you with the entertainment system. So I think must really should get more prepared with their flights. So guys, what do you think? I personally don't think I exaggerate anything. But like seriously, like right now, I do 
am reconsidering if I should board another mass flight considering the services and the in-flight news so, but seriously before this one of the reason I chose to board a mass flight is because of the in-flight news and there were less delays tapi ini macam tadi actually our flight was delayed for 30 minutes sebab alasan dia uh, catering tu belum settle no I'm not joking memang dia umumkan pakai PA uh, the flight was delayed due to the catering services are not done yet so yeah for you guys out there who really think must should have changed their catering services maybe you should reconsider about what you have wished for like seriously because this new tender is so does anyone have a different opinion than me kalau ada well, it's debatable. Who knows, maybe ada yang actually suka the new in-flight meals. But yeah, it's everyone's opinions after all. I guess that's all for now. Bye.